Hey out there and welcome. I'm Kate and I'm back in the studio and I'm super happy to have you here with me. So today's practice is going to be an all-inclusive practice for possibly those days when you have just a small amount of time to do your thing. So whatever you want to have with you a couple of blocks, a blanket, maybe a bolster, anything at all that makes you feel more comfortable in your practice, please take the time to grab those things, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat, and let's get moving. Okay, so we're gonna get started in a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. I have a blanket. I like to sit in Sukhasana with my feet kind of folded in, but whatever works for you today, you can go ahead and get yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. And once you're there, you're gonna to start to close your eyes. Feel your shoulders relax down away from your ears. Feel where your sitting bones can lengthen down into the floor. And keeping that feeling of, of groundingness, of really feeling what's underneath you, you're gonna lengthen gently up through the crown of your head so you can feel your spine kind of do 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 <laughs> all the way up. And if your eyes aren't already closed, you're gonna go ahead and do the thing. Take a couple of breaths. Just a couple of breaths to get you here. And then start to settle into a comfortable rhythm of inhale and, and exhale. Feel the muscles in your forehead, your cheeks, and your jaw. Feel them all start to relax. And as your breath gently deepens, feel your shoulders lose any tension that may be still there. Feel your stomach release as well. And just feel the weight of your hands where they rest in or on your lap. Begin to cultivate your breath. Feel it as it draws in and that is, it leaves your body. And as you sit here and breathe, allow your breath to make some space in your body. Feel yourself expand and open up as you breathe here. And use your breath too to make some space in your mind. Sometimes it narrows down without you even realizing it. So make some space there too. Keep your awareness on your breath, but start to feel where your shoulder blades kind of sit on your back and just gently draw them in toward each other without too much strain or too much work going on. And when you exhale, you're going to drop your chin to your chest. Keep that breath going, but shake your head gently side to side. When you inhale, you're going to roll your right ear up over your right shoulder, hover there, and breathe. And on your next exhale, roll down through center, and inhale, roll up to the left side. And when you get there, you're just going to do the same thing. Pause, maybe shake your head a little. And then roll back down through center, chin to chest. Inhale, roll that right ear up over your right shoulder one more time. And this time you're gonna take your right hand to the side of your head right above that left ear and draw the earlobe away from that shoulder. Feel your right shoulder relax even here. 
And you're gonna drop your left fingertips to the floor and without shifting your weight through your, you know, middle body area, <laughs> you're gonna start to walk your fingertips over. It makes total sense, right? Walk those fingertips out to the left. And so maybe you're just kind of grazing the tips of your, your fingers there. Keep that breath moving through that left side of your neck all the way down into your hand, your fingers. And you're going to drop your right hand to the floor. Sweep your left arm up and over your ear. And now you're just going to spin your gaze down toward the floor for a second. And then up toward your hand. And then wherever it feels good, you take another breath as you press through that. Whew, that left side sitting bone. And then drop your hand to your right knee, sit up nice and tall and just give yourself a twist. <sighs> ring it out. Ring what out? I don't know, but ring it out. <laughs> when you inhale, you're gonna come back through center, sweep your arms up and overhead, interlace your fingers, flip your palms. And as your shoulders drop away from your ears, you're just gonna push up into the heels of your hands. And maybe shake your head a little bit side to side. Upper arms hug in. <sighs> yeah. And you're going to keep those fingers interlaced, but bring your hands behind your head. You got it. Right at the base of your skull here, you're going to inhale. Let those elbows splay open, lift your chest. When you exhale, curl in, elbows toward your ears and around. <sighs> inhale, open it back up. Exhale and round. <sighs> One more. Inhale, open it back up. Exhale and curl it in. You're going to keep your chin bowed to your chest. Slowly release your hands down to your lap and then roll your left ear over your left shoulder. You're going to take your left hand to the side of your head there, right above your right ear. Take a breath there. So you let that left shoulder kind of soften down. And then right fingertips to the mat right outside your hip. Just start to walk them away. Beautiful. Another breath here. And then take that left hand down to the floor, sweep that right palm open and up and overhead. Root through that right side sitting bone. Take your gaze down toward that bottom hand and then maybe up. You got it. Drop your hand to that left knee, sit up nice and tall and spin into a twist. Inhale, come through center. You're going to reach your arms up. One more time, interlace your fingers. Maybe the other pinky's in front. Maybe you don't remember. doesn't really matter. <laughs> You're going to push up through the heels of your hands. Drop your shoulders down. Again, give your head a little shake side to side. Inhale, keep reaching up through the heels of your hands. When you exhale, you're going to bring your arms down into cactus. Squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades in. Lift your chest. Exhale, we're going to curl in. This time, forearms press, pinky edges come together. <sighs> Inhale, curl it open. Exhale, close it back down. <sighs> One more just like that. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, pull it back in. <sighs> Inhale, open it up. Find your cactus arms. This time when you exhale, bring that right arm underneath the left. And we're going to wrap here. Shoulders drop down away from your ears. Feel those elbows lift up. And maybe the thumbs start to move away from you. Maybe it's just enough where you are. You can drop your chin down toward your chest. <sighs> Inhale, lift your head. Sweep those arms out and open into cactus. And then the left arm is going to come underneath, wrap into that eagle. If eagle isn't accessible because you're feeling super tight today, you can just take that left arm across in front of your chest and work it like this. Perfectly fine. Right? Right. Same deal here. Elbows <laughs> can lift. Drop your chin to your chest. Hmm. Inhale, lift your head. Going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Come back through cactus. And when you exhale, you're going to take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Draw those knuckles down. Upper arms hug in as if you were trying to pull something. I don't know. You're going to squeeze them toward each other. 
And then from here, you're gonna lift your thumbs away from your low back. So we end up being just like this. As straight as you can, you're gonna pull away. And then work those hands away from each other without losing that interlace of the fingers. Move like you could pull your hands apart. And maybe you wanna drop your chin to your chest. If you're feeling still super tight in your neck, you can move your head a little bit side to side. That's it. And then from here, we're gonna release and come all the way forward and find a tabletop position here. And just a couple rounds of cat cow, just because, I don't know, it feels like the next natural thing to do. And it just gives you a chance to kind of roll around if you need to along your spine. On your next exhale, we're gonna come on up and back, find a downward facing dog. And just pedal it out. Feel your shoulders kind of move away from your earlobes. And because we were sitting for, you know, I don't know, nine minutes or something like that, eight or nine minutes, you can pedal out your feet. And then as you pedal, start to make it a little bit more dramatic, right? You're gonna bend the one knee, press the heel toward the middle of the mat and down, and then bend, kind of sink the hips. I'm gonna work side to side in that way. Ah, dropping that heel toward the midline on that straight leg. Ah, that's it. All right, and then back through your down dog however squishy you got with it, and then drop your knees to the mat. Coming back into table, you're gonna take your right leg, stretch it straight back behind you, tuck your toes and just give a good push through your heel. Maybe rock back and forth. Just wake up your foot back there. All right, and then you're gonna push into your hands, push into the ball of this right foot, take a breath in. When the exhale comes, you're gonna drag that left knee into your chest, squeeze. Inhale, float it down toward the floor. Exhale, squeeze. One more, float it down, squeeze it up, and then let it go all the way down to the floor. Inhale, right knee, or right foot's gonna lift away from the floor. Exhale, knee to nose, round it in. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, knee to nose. One more, kick it back. Really round in as you go through, and step that right foot forward. Come onto your fingertips, let your hips drop down, but keep pressing steadily through your right foot as you reach your chest forward. Take a deep breath here. When the exhale comes, we're gonna rock back, Ardha Hanuman. Dig into that heel, feel it push you back gently. Gonna rock it forward again. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, pop up onto your fingertips. So now we're just kind of working the legs a little bit more. Take your gaze forward. Feel that outer right hip pull back. Inhale. Exhale, step back. Find your plank. Deep breath in here. And then knees to the mat. And we're gonna untuck the toes and roll down, right? So thighs come to the floor, then hips. As you come down, feel your shoulders drop away from your ears, feel your elbows hug in, and we're gonna kind of pause at a high cobra. Inhale it here, legs strong. Exhale, bring it like halfway down and pause again. <laughs> Sides of your neck stay nice and long. Inhale, exhale, come almost all the way to the floor. Keep working that baby cobra. Now, instead of it being in the arms, feel the muscles along your spine, create that lift. Inhale, exhale, relax all the way down. Press into those hands, come on back up through table, tuck your toes, walk your hips back toward your heels, and extend a child's pose with the toes tucked. <sighs> Inhale up into your table, take that left foot, kick it straight back. Same thing, we're gonna kinda rock forward and back on the ball of that foot. All right, and then root down, shoulders over those wrists. Inhale, exhale, right knee's gonna drag in. Inhale, lower to hover. Exhale, pull it in. One more. Drop it down and then pull it back in. And then let it hit the floor. 
Inhale, float that left leg up, stretch your chest forward, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back, knee to nose. One more. Really round that upper back as you pull it in and step that foot up between your thumbs. Pop onto your fingertips, sink your hips, stretch your chest forward. Keep pushing into that left foot, make it active, inhale. Exhale, and then draw it back, Ardha Hanuman. As you pull those hips back, press your left heel into the mat. Yes, here we go, we're gonna rock it forward, tuck those back toes, lift your back knee. Push into the floor. Feel that outer left hip scissor back. Work the legs almost like you could take your weight out of your hands and you'd be fine. Full breath in here. When the exhale comes, you're gonna step the right foot up to meet the left one and just fold. You can soften your knees. Let it sway a little bit side to side. You can let your hands drag. <laughs> There we go, inhale, halfway lift. Legs straight or knees bent, it doesn't matter. Just find a long spine. Exhale and fold. Push into those feet, come all the way up. Ordva Hastasana, sweep your arms out, reach them up, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips. We're gonna find a chair pose here. Feel your weight pull back toward your seat. Super fun. <laughs> and then fold. Uttanasana, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. And as you exhale, we're gonna go back. <sighs> Downward facing dog, spread your fingers. Push into the four corners of your palms. Feel your shoulders relax and breathe. All right, you're gonna take your right leg, lift it up, stretch it back, inhale. Just one knee to nose, pull it in and around. Inhale, bring it up and back. Exhale, we're gonna step it up between those thumbs. We're gonna come into a standing split. So if you want your blocks and you've got them nearby, take them forward a bit and then shift your weight into that right foot, push the floor away, standing split. We're not gonna last here for two or stay here for too long, but push evenly through both heels. And then soften that right knee, take your gaze forward, pull your left knee in and then come all the way up to stand. That's it. Let's bring this leg into a tree. Sole of that left foot's gonna come to your inner right thigh and feel that foot and the thigh kind of converge into one. <laughs> Hands can come to prayer. If you want, make some space outside. You can stretch your arms out or take them straight up. All right, you're gonna sweep that left knee forward, step it back into a warrior one. <sighs> you got it. Bring those arms down through cactus, push through both feet. When you exhale, hands come behind your back, interlace your fingers. <sighs> Inhale, lift into your chest. And when you exhale, we're just gonna to fold to the inside of this front foot. Feel your knuckles draw away from your ears. Outer right hip's gonna pull back and hug in a little bit. <sighs> Deep breath. And then release your hands. We're gonna step back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, rock forward through plank. Exhale, drop your knees, untuck your toes and lower it down, high cobra, elbows hug in, sides of your neck nice and long, full breath. Exhale, lower it down and hold and then lower it again and hold one more lower it down but this time we're going to find that baby cobra where the arms aren't working but the muscles in your upper back the middle of the spine they're working then release your forehead tuck your toes we're going right up and back downward facing dog left leg's going to lift inhale sweep it back knee to nose Take it up and back, and then step it forward. We're gonna find that standing split. If you want the blocks, then take the blocks. 
Shift your weight forward into that left foot, root it down so you can extend back through that right one. Work evenly through both feet. And then soften that left knee, pull your right knee in. We're gonna come all the way up to stand. Take your time. This is the balance portion. <laughs> it's quick and dirty. Find your tree. Feel that outer left hip pull in and up. And you can kind of draw in and up from there, all the way up through your chest, through the crown of your head, maybe even through your fingertips if you're reaching up. <sighs> Notice if there's tension anywhere, maybe you can let it go through your foot. Ooh, those toes may be gripping. Soften your toes. <sighs> all right, sweep that right knee forward. Step it back. Warrior one, inhale. Reach those arms up. Exhale, arms through cactus. <sighs> Drop your hands behind your back. Maybe those fingers interlace in another way. Knuckles pull down, feel that lift. <sighs> Humble warrior, come to the inside of this front foot. As your torso kind of moves forward, feel that right foot press back. We're always kind of working in opposing directions energy-wise, right? Keep rooting through that right heel. Shoulders lift, but the crown of your head's gonna drop. Deep breath. Exhale, release your hands down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And when you exhale, you're gonna drop your knees. One last time, untuck your toes. Thighs come to the floor, hips come to the floor. High cobra, elbows hug and close, sides of the body, sides of your neck, long inhale. And then lower down just a little bit. Full breath. Lower down a little bit more. <laughs> and then into your baby cobra. Use those muscles in your spine. And then relax. Come all the way down. Bend your knees. Windshield wipe your feet. Hmm. And then you're going to make your way all the way onto your back. <sighs> and pull your knees in. And there's a rock and roll on your low spine. <sighs> Take your arms out to the sides. Let your knees fall over to the right, and you can scoop those knees with your right hand. Send your left shoulder down toward the floor. Send your gaze across that left arm. <sighs> Inhale it up through center. And exhale, drop it to the other side. Inhale it up through center. Hug your knees in. You're gonna take them wide and pull them in actively. Press your knees into your hands and you feel your low back kind of iron out on the floor. Ah. And then from here, you can either stretch yourself out to a Shavasana or roll on up to sit. We're gonna take just a minute. And if you want more than that, please take more, <laughs> right? But just a moment to pause before you move into what comes next. Come back to your breath. And use your breath to make space. Maybe swept out cobwebs in your body. Hopefully we've swept out those cobwebs in your mind. If not, you can use your breath now and throughout the rest of your day to keep sweeping. Please feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. I'm gonna leave you here. If you're ready to, you can bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra. Bow your head and honor this time on your mat and the fact that you rolled your mat out at all. I know how hard it is some days just to make even the smallest amount of time. So celebrate that today. And I look forward to practicing with you again soon. 
You know the drill, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Make it a great day.